Hello everybody, in today's video I have some 4x4 walkthrough solves using the Yao method. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I actually just broke all three of my PBs. My average of 12 PB is a sub 1, my average of 5 PB is a sub 1, but those again are not my true averages, those are just what I got. And uh, my, my lucky single was no parity. I did have uh, PLL and OLL, but I didn't have any parity, so I guess that's, I guess, lucky. But that's a 49.16. Now, before I get on to this, I really want to quickly let you guys know that I have reopened my Facebook page where you can see all the photos, sneak peeks into uh, videos that are coming up, obviously interaction with me and stuff like that. I've had it closed for months, but I've recently just opened it. So if you'd like to like that page, you can click the link in the description and uh, join the group there. All right, so let's go ahead and mess us up. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Immediately, I'm seeing a, these two here. Let's see if I can preserve those. I doubt it, because I'm not that good. Um, so what I would do is these two first. So I'll put it here, and then I can actually turn this one here so I don't have to kick it out and bring it back. So this is in the bottom left, and I'm looking for this one, put it in the bottom right, and now we can match those up. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing is this green here and this green here. So we can go ahead and match those up. I saw this red in this red now. And now we've got this orange in this orange. And this blue right here, this is going to be my first center. And I am going to do half bars because I can already see that we've got a half bar here. Or sorry, a half block here and a half block here. So we go like this. I know that orange goes here, which I can see if I can preserve that. I don't know because I've already got this orange there. And yes, I can. So that's a really lucky scramble because that's going to solve both of those. And then here, I know that this bar needs to go back here because I already built it on the left, as you can see. Right? So sorry if it goes a little bit fast. Um, I've gotten faster, I guess. I don't know. Um, so anyways, I'm not good at these... The, the last two yet so I'm just gonna do it how I usually would and put that in first thing I want to do is slice and that was the orange and yellow which I saw was right here so put it here and this was the green and orange which I'm guessing is here which it is and this is the orange and blue which is here just flip it and that's kicking out the red and blue, which solves it over here. And I knew it solved it because I looked up here for it. I know that this one, that this, I already knew that this one wasn't it. And I saw that these two um, obviously aren't it either. And so when I kicked it out like this, and this wasn't it, I knew it solved here. So in this case, I usually just put anything else in. And then I continue to solve going this way. So that's the red and green. Put it here. This brings in the red and yellow which is back here. And I'm gonna be left with two pairs. All right, so we've got this pair here and this pair here. So I want the both of the yellows facing this way. So I'll sledgehammer that in and then I'll cut over, flip it and bring it back. And so uh, this is my first pair here. All right, my second pair is right here. My third pair is right here. And my fourth pair is right there. Oh, I screwed that up. <laughs> I'm putting it in the wrong one. Oh man, that was going to be okay. Parity. And then easy OLL. Um, now this case here, I don't. I see that I've got these two bars and I don't have any headlights. So I put those bars here. I do a Y perm, which is going to leave me with just a single PLL parity right here. All right, so let's go through another one. All right, so the first thing that I am seeing here is this bar here. So I'm looking for the other two yellows, which are right here. And that's really, really easy. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and make this white pair up here. Okay, because it sets that up to make this a lot easier. All right, so this white, this white. All right, first thing I'm seeing is these two reds. And these two oranges. And these ones are already made, the blue. All right. So in this case, I am going to do the same thing. I'm going to do my bars because they're relatively easy. So I've got this bar, this bar, and that one's made already. So I'm looking for orange. And I'm going to bring this whole position up to grab this orange, bring it back down. And now this is a really easy case. 
and this is easy as well match it up bring it here down flick over with the finger while i'm looking for my first stuff now the first thing i saw was this and that so i can match that up bring this up i'm going to replace it with the orange and uh, blue which i don't see so it's probably over there and it is put it down sledgehammering in the um, green and yellow which i haven't seen yet so it's over here which it is and I'm going to put this one in, which is the green and orange, which is right here. So I'll just put that in like that. And that's going to kick out the blue and um, yellow, which is right here. Okay. Oh, put that in the wrong spot. <laughs> I, I don't usually move over that way. So anyways, this is the uh, yellow and red, which is here. And we're going to have an easy two, two cycle here, if that's what you would call it. Move it over, flip it move it back okay first pair I'm seeing is uh, I'm not seeing it <laughs> here we are put it in the back second pair is here okay third pair is here and the last pair is here and I don't know this OLL I used to but I have actually forgotten it so we'll just two look it and then here we've got just a U perm easy all right so one more all right let's see what we got I see this pair already done this pair can be matched up so in this case what I would do is move this to the side and then I would move it down like this now I see these two here that's actually I want to show you guys that something I've, I've learned obviously if I turn it like this it's not going to match up perfectly but you can easily just you know turn it and move it and then it's already done you can it's one solid movement right so this one is going to be in the bottom right so I turn in this one there we go all right so the first thing I'm seeing is these greens right reds and blues right here all right so in this one again I am going to do the twos because these are already set up Right, so I'm looking to put blue right here, and now I'm looking to finish red on the bottom. Okay, so I saw that this was in the top right. Turn this up, put it down, and now I'm going to do blue, and then green. And then the last two are going to go in. No bottom move like this necessary. This one's already matched, so I'm bringing this one in, which is a... Um, uh, sorry, yellow and red, which I haven't seen yet, which I'm guessing might be this one or this one yet. So bring this in. And then here we've got, you can see we've got this going on. So what I would do in this situation is instead of moving it back, taking this one out. And so we've got these two here. Uh, what I would do is match these up first, put them like that. And then I can match this up. Okay. And that will complicating I usually don't speak when I do this um, that would kick out this red and blue which is right here so we put that one in and these two are gonna match up afterwards and that's gonna solve our edges all right first pair here second pair here I believe the third pair is right there nope right there Okay, all my pairs are done. So in this case here, you know, OLL parity, um, I will always do, if, it, if there's three that are solved, I'll always do the unsolved one because then it leaves me with a cross, which is very easy for most people because I already know to look uh, where, you know, you don't want to do it here or here or here because you need to be left with a line or a, um, an L, which for most people is more difficult to deal with because not everybody knows full OLL like me. All right, so same OLL case, very easy. And then here we have PLL parity and we have J perm. Now, uh, I know an algorithm for this one. Uh, most people would turn it or turn this and do this familiar algorithm. Uh, I'd, I wouldn't do that personally. Um, in this position, I would oh, do this one. I just can't do it while I speak. Anyways, 
So there's some uh, four by four stuff. My favorite parts of this is the three, my, my very first three edges and then my center finishing my centers. I really like that about four by four. And I think that's where a lot of my time is burnt up actually. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, Facebook page is in the description. Go ahead and like that. I'm probably likely going to be holding contests there as well because I'm not going to be opening my YouTube comment section for more of the reasons than I can even possibly say. So, um, But I do have a contest coming up. Links in the description. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on my next video.